good kitten internet. Um, let's go ahead and reload the state. I was just looking through the album. Um, there's a lot of weird looking things there. And apparently the first bosses had a, the pair of bosses, the random encounter that we did, not the last video, but the video before, had a weakness of electricity. It's most important to prevent accidents before they happen. Want to join me on my inspection? Visual check. Okay. Oh, I love the visual check guy so much. Anyway, I want to talk to the queen. Not because there's any reason to. Just I haven't talked to her in a while, and I like her. Think that Sir Valeria was the conspirator behind it all. If that's true, then everything else makes more sense. Everything was planned. Sir Valeria is merciful, kind, and yet sad. He truly loves Vilgaia. Was this plan the only way? It all seems so sorrowful. Okay, so it, she actually has had her text updated, so to speak. Anyway. Hmm, what to do this time? I think we need to spend some personal skills because we've leveled up a bunch. South from the visual check guy. If Luca gets in trouble, you make sure you call me. I'll be right off to save you. I know this isn't realistic. I'm just that enthusiastic. Wait, really? You're you're Okay, that guy specifically likes Loka. You know what? He's a far better partner than the one that Loka got paired up with. All right. Just said what I was going to do and I've heard forgotten. Oh, that's right, personal skills. I can do personal skills here. Yes. If you haven't noticed, I've been looking at the signs to figure out where things are. Yeah, I have a lot of personal skills to spend. 19. Food should be arriving in a little under an hour. And it's just the same thing, though. No. Also, I just uploaded a video of Zone who decided to go jump up into my arms while I'm sitting on the toilet. Cats. much of a reason to I guess I could up advanced guard probability that allows me to randomly block things that might not be terrible but it's not the greatest look uh, you already have up M attack and up P defend Do that and let's start upping M defend I guess or hmm. be worth doing on Loka. I mean, it's not gonna hurt. Brad! And yeah, I'm aware that counterattack would probably be a really good idea on Brad, but I don't like having counterattack on my characters so I can actually do things like divide or absorb a skill or anything like that.
Oh, that's part of the reason why he's not doing so great as Mighty Morphing Power, actually. I didn't up that at all. Uh, no. That looks better. Okay. Um, let's take a look at our crest magic. Do I seriously have all the crest crafts in the game? I have five spare crest crafts right now. Zerk. That's that field effect, and I might as well just throw the rest into tier one because they're not going to do anything else anyway. Um, air screen could theoretically be a spell I cast. Dispel is theoretically a spell I can cast. There we go. Problem solved. Um, let's see. I know I'm doing terrible with Tim's abilities. Maybe I should just do that. Yeah. going to be the best way of doing that? I mean, I have an answer. That only works if you have a certain thing equipped. Okay, let's take a look. First off, let's... We need to learn from everybody. Justine is going to be the easy one, in theory. I'm gonna, what I'm, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you how I'm doing it for the first couple of battles, then pause and unpause when I'm done, because otherwise this is gonna be forever. So the first thing I'm going to do is add Tim to the party. Tim's res is 347. So I need to find, let's see, that would be Miracle and Ashley. So this, in this particular group setup, Tim will be first, and that's the point. Let's go ahead and teleport. Teleport? Teleport's from a comic series, not, yeah, anyway. Then we are going to equip Odd Sandals. Elven boots all around. are going to have the item that increases physical attack. It might actually still be equipped on somebody. Nope. There it is. Power boost. So now his attack is 507, which is hilarious. So from here, um, let's go ahead and activate fast forward. And what I'm going to be doing is branch zapping every time. This means that Tim will always defeat all of the enemies on the first round. Actually. You are manual. You are... It doesn't actually... Happen. As long as it's not manual. Then I'm going to go around like this. Although, actually, I'm curious about something really fast. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tim has enough force now where he can just do that on the fly. So, yep, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to rotate the screen like this. Have it go on. Press one button. Tim kills it. That's it. So, I will be right back while I do this a whole bunch of times. Bye. Back and just finished learning bold plants. During this time, 
because my controller actually has a fairly long range. I have actually gone into the kitchen, made myself a bowl of ice cream, all while constantly doing inkling and have eaten most of the bowl of ice cream. Or, this is actually gelato, but whatever. Alright. So now we need to worry about reds. We'll do Zephyr next. That puts me at 293, 267, 273. Okay. So as long as I go above 273, I'm fine. Raftina is above 273. Okay. Alright. So now we do the same thing again. This time I have to do it for 90 in back. For 99 now. I might have already done a couple, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's see, so that was two. So it's either gonna be 97 or something slightly lower. 97, okay, yeah, nope, I have not done that. So, this is gonna be a while. Be back later. So it dawned on me, I have Marivol. I don't need to do this. I can just walk into a dungeon. I'm going to. So I'm trying to think of a dungeon that actually has a fairly large number of enemies. But still relatively easy because I'm doing this early on. I think teleport tower might count. Or telepath tower, not teleport. That's the problem, is that I'm going to be encountering multiple types of enemies. I need to go earlier. Or the chance of me encountering more than one type of enemy is low. Unless if that's only one type of encounter. And that one's only two. Pardon me, I'm having my gelato. Let's see if I can find a different place. What am I doing? I have a dragon. That should be my slogan for anything. What am I doing? I have a dragon. Archive. This might be too high level, but everything's weak against light. Now I can just constantly hit two buttons, not pay attention to anything. Ooh, there's two types of enemies here. Hmm. So it does appear as though it's most times two, but it could be more. I don't know, there's a one. Maybe Slayheim Castle might be better. Hmm. Probably spending more time than I'd be saving at this point, but I'm getting a little tired of the constantly hold down a button.
Oh, there's right. Forgot there is a random, or uh, powerful box here. What do you have? That's not helpful. That's only on one enemy. Hmm. Not liking this so far. With Valkyrie, I can kill most things in one hit. Uh, think about it. So maybe that's not as big of a deal? Maybe this is actually faster. Mm, melted ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I guess this has a high enough chance of... I prefer if there was some four enemies here, but that doesn't appear to be happening, and the one enemy is bothering me. Let's see if we can find a different one. encountering you. I know what's in that thing. That's one of the hardest bosses in the game. That's no, gonna be too late. I need to go early game. I do like how the auto battle is actually smart enough to know what type of spell to use against things, even when it doesn't. There's some areas that have frequent four-person battles early on, too. I thought it was under traffic, but apparently not. At least not this section of under traffic. Yeah, there's too many two battles here. So the way the randomization works in Wild Arms, both one and two, and I'm pretty sure it's all. This is really common in video games. Uh, nope, there's a one. Um, is that there's only certain combinations of battles possible. What it's actually doing when you have a random encounter is that it's rolling on a table to see which encounter you get, not which members of the battle are there. Which means that after a few battles of entering a dungeon, you can figure out the types of enemies that are in that section of the dungeon. In Wild Arms 2, there's usually two sections of the dungeon. gotten everything in there because I can't, I can't return. I 
artificial altar? Or a hidden trial arena, sorry. There's some four. Although it's not doing... might be too high level. Also, that's a wall. Doing 2,000 damage on a melee attack. Jeez. Must not have any defense. Okay. Temporarily turn auto map off. I want to see how well this works. Works fine. What are you doing, auto battle? This means I have to pay attention, unfortunately. And I can move Valkyrie to the top of the spell list. That's not that big of a deal. attention, and I don't like having to pay attention for things like this. Uh, this is a bunch of threes and fours. Oh, there is that. Also, get me a lot of big berries. I think the squirms drop big berries. Yeah, there's a high frequency of four enemy encounters. I'm sure that there's a better way. A free alert. Let's see. Um, unlock! Freaking hell. Uh, first will be delivered in half an hour, which means it'll be here in about 10 to 15. I don't know why they have such a high estimate for how many groceries are going to be. This isn't the right spot. Where else can I even go? I mean, I'm starting to get pretty far down there in terms of what enemies are around. Uh, Mount Chug Chug, maybe? Or the bridge? No, there's no random encounters on the bridge. is that Tim is choosing Napalm Hit over other things because it's more efficient. Ooh, chakra. Uh, it's more efficient, but it's not actually better in the case that I'm trying to do, which is having Tim kill those things. Well, that's a two encounter. I'm not expecting this much of the battle boosts. Gobalt. Must be a special type of gobald. Also another two encounter. Another uh, same two encounter. Jeez, that was five digits. 
hatchet damage. Tim is super powerful, by the way, in case you didn't realize. He's... There's only seems to be two encounters so far. Tim just leveled up. And they all seem to be two monster encounters. Yeah, that I didn't even bother. Ha. Huh. This isn't what I want either. I mean, what I want are either similar enemies, or enemies that Tim... Oop, there we go, there's Apocalypse. Or enemies that Tim actually wants to use Valkyrie from. I think it feels like Telephone Tower would actually be my best bet. Alright. Tim, you've learned Zephyr. Time to le start learning from Raftina. So the next spot I think of is Green Hell. But this might be a very small number of enemies is the problem. Because this is meant for a solo battle, and... Uh, maybe the prison island, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. Seriously? Why, Tim, why? It must be prioritizing, hey look, this enemy has a weakness, then kill as many as enemies as you can. So, I need to find ones that don't have a weakness? Yeah, I'm gonna try the prison, I think. But I have no reason to think that there was something actually in the prison at the point. Hmm. Not sure. Alright, prison! Wasting so much time doing this, I my apologies. Yeah, here's the person I like. Oh, I actually have to get here by a boat. Fine. Oh boy, they drop heal berries. Just what I needed. Two group. Okay, things aren't too bad so far. Three group, but yep, prioritizing the wrong thing again. So effectively a two group. Seriously thinking Telepath Tower might actually be the best option. And that one's even worse. There was a group of two that Tim ignored. Uh... Yeah. Telepath Tower is actually the best bet. Which is sad. Maybe if I can go further into the Telepath Tower, it won't be as dumb.
save stating just in case. Okay, so far this thing is much better. Can you just the green powers? Four encounter, but it's going to Nova Ring half of them because they have a weakness. So it looks like threes and twos here, which is not terrible, it's just not great. Ooh, a four encounter. Of course, it's doing that in. <laughs> Grumble, I say. Grumble. So, threes and twos. Why are you doing an apalm hit? There was no reason for an apalm hit on that. Sad thing is, this is probably uh, this is definitely still faster than um, fighting balloons. Yep, I'll pause and unpause when it's done. This would be the last one, by the way. There we go. I have learned every ability from Tim. Unfortunately, the Retro Achievement site for some reason isn't working properly, so I didn't count as getting the achievement there. Uh, that's really obnoxious. I definitely have the achievement. Let's get out of here. Because we are done with Tim. Just Tim is over. Don't need to be in more battles. I'll fight them anyway, just because it's it's, it's actually quicker than me running away. Because <coughs> I have the right muscle memory for it. that. Alright. Now that I don't have to worry about those abilities ever again. Uh, actually, not Rafty. Uh, Dendrim. We don't need power boost. Y'all need uh, Necronomicon. 932 sorcery. Nice. Okay. What now? Don't want to annoy people too much with the speed up. So about half an hour in is when I finally start actually doing something. We're just double checking on personal skills. We have leveled up once, I think. There we go. Yep, that's the only level up that we have. All right, time to fight more. Nasty monsters. Um, let's go to the meteorite crater next. That might not be too bad. Where's the meteorite crater at? Nope, we're doing a different one. Let's go to Helmets. Helmets is the only place in the game where the town itself has an optional boss. Remember, this is the town that, um... Uh... 
what's his face? Um, uh, why am I blanking on names right now? Um, person whose glasses fall off. Uh, yep, I've already forgotten. Doesn't matter. Um, this is probably gonna bother me. Isn't it? Judica. Just had to look up in the album because that's the way my brain works. So what we need to do is find that. Don't make noise, eh? Steel Dragon Bowels of the Earth. Oh yeah, we need to turn off auto battle. Okay, um, is this actually the group that I want? Well, I want Marivel, because this is a, the other one of those silly boss battles. Uh, let's go Marivel Cannon. Oh, Cannon still hurt. Whoops. need to reload, but... So, turns out, this boss is not immune to instant death. I'm gonna reload just because I don't want Cannon to die. Yeah, this is one of those... Okay. I did not know this when I first played through the game, that this boss was um, not immune to instant death. It's not that hard to do, the problem with this boss isn't that it hits very hard. You notice it only hit cannon for like 14, 1500, which is not that much. It's just the fact that I haven't bothered healing cannon. The problem with this boss is that... Oh, I still didn't... I forgot to move that back. Um, that it heals itself full hit points every three turns. Every... Yeah, every three turns. Oh, and my grocery order is arriving. Um, so if you don't do something like an instant death attack, you have to... Yeah, I mean, 2,000 damage each is not that hard anymore. Or not that high amount of... That one missed. Oh, I forgot. Tim also has instant death. I'm just gonna have Tim. Yeah, because Arcana 13 is instant death. But I'm just going to have Tim first aid instead. This guillotine costs one force point. This is dumb. Oh, I didn't even bother equipping anybody, did I? Ooh, that actually goes first? I would not have expected that. That's fine. Have a near full heal. You know what? We should probably equip things. Angle is basically the same thing, just airing effect. Thanks! I think this is what I mean by full heal every three rounds. And I need to go pick up my groceries. Let's just double check to see if they die. Yep, they're dead. Be right back. What they think of. Oh, I forgot to use a 
Lucky card. One moment. I'm going to undo that. Uh, be right back. Alright, now that my groceries are, you know, put away, mostly. I didn't bother putting away some of them. Um, you need to first aid. Marvel. Keep trying to do your brain thing. Ashley actually remember to use the freaking lucky card. Brilliant Buster. Uh, I don't know. That failed, which is probably a good thing because I need the lucky card. <sighs> Alright, let's start using all the instant death stuff. Uh, 13. Guillotine. I don't know, Ashley. Just a punch. <laughs> so yeah, the main thing with this is that you have to be able to do enough damage, unless if you have a bunch of instant death abilities like I do, then it really doesn't matter. So weird. That's much better. Shooting star. Such dumb names for things. I had no idea there was a monster in there. Nor can I believe that you defeated it. So I'm just gonna stay there forever. Shooting star. Pew pew. All right. We should probably actually heal. There, that's better. Uh, we've only spent 42 minutes and all... Only 11 of that was actually fighting the enemy. Hmm. Sort of. Wasn't one of the places that I can get to only via this? I'm thinking it was here. It's been a while since we've used these, and I feel bad because I love the system. Even that was obviously a satellite map. Hitting the button to cancel the attack. Or the battle. Silly me. Not there. 
Hmm. That explains the random encounter rate. I forgot about that. Why did I not pick that up before? I must have passed by it on a, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, boat, hovercraft, there we go. Also, I know. another one that you can cheese as long as you have Maryville. Hmm. Forgot to check her luck. Best. Sweet. this group should work. Uh, actually, to be honest, that should work just as well. Really, Maryville is the only one that I specifically need something. Otherwise, I just need damage. to do is every turn use canceler. It's not immune to it. It won't work every round, but it'll work most rounds. And this enemy is stupid levels of slow. Ow. Of course, Merrifield's also slow. See, not every turn. Going up to four levels, like you do. Seriously? Ow. to put first aid back at the top. That hasn't worked yet, though. Mm -hmm. More gummy
supposed to work, I swear. We don't need Tim at this point. That ability? I think I am. Hmm. Sleep actually works. But I will just continue using Canceler, apparently. Uh, cannon. Just heal yourself. Actually, bad lucid. We don't see that very often. Fairly large amount of damage, too. There we go. Show you what this looks like. Show you what both of them look like eventually. Tactless. Herc! That is actually the most powerful attack in the game, if I remember right. Critical? Oh, come on! Could have just used a big berry. Some gun blaze action. Oh, it's actually going to get fire. Never mind. No gun blaze action. Tactless on Ashley. He's down. I mean, you can only defend and have a large amount of hit points. It's really the only way you can do it until you're much higher level. I mean, I know I'm doing this hard mode because I'm not using a healer, but I feel like it. Yep, Marvel's alive. Shocking. So I suppose I should actually show what these look like. So I'll show Lucifer, then I'll show Asgard. So this is Lucifer. Lucy, I'm home. Don't mind me, I'm going to blow up the entire planet to attack. It's fine. And it does damage. That's it. Asgard 2 is... I don't... I don't like the fact that you get both at once, so there's not much of a reason to use one versus the other. It doesn't even do that much more damage, is Against anything. <laughs> Didn't even bother looking. No, it's actually strong against all elements. Cool. Ah, 
not having good luck with cancer. That's unfortunate. Atlas and Meryl's down. down again. I'm getting mad. Notice that he's already faster than Cannon. And Cannon's down. Got tired of dealing with that. Five cannon. Actually, punch him. Oh crap. Nope, reloading. Don't want to lose that. Also, I didn't use my. Um. Whatchamacallit? Uh. Lucky Garden. The whole point in fighting these is getting XP. Now that I know that it doesn't have that many points. Saber goes blue. Why does he not? Ow. myself. Punch in the face. Mad this. There we go. Now it's down and I didn't have anybody dead. Let's see. 100,000 XP, 150,000 Gala. Lucas hit 50, everybody levels. And Omega crushed game! Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a weapon for Brad. Also, it's in his crying for absolutely no reason, so I'm going to end this about now-ish. Just going to equip it onto Brad with the Omega Crush 719 attack. Holy crap. What is it, Isin? Meryl? I don't know why you're crying. Anyway, we will leave, and I will mark off another boss defeated. For reference, there are four remaining. And I think we might have actually already defeated one of them that I've already forgotten. So, I hope you've enjoyed this internet. And we'll be talking to you next time. I don't even know when this video is going live because I've already forgotten how many videos I've recorded today. This is the last one I'm recording today for reference. There you are. Should I heal first? Yeah. Actually, let's go to the Odd Headquarters. I'm not gonna end this quite yet. No, I should. I'm actually at an hour now. That's uh, Odd. Just gonna top up on healing items. the name changer. It's down here that I get the items. Thanks, screw it. Get 99 war respites and never have to care about things again. 
get all the heal here. Just get everything. Just mess me up, game. Just mess me up. I have tons of money. And I'm only running one purse. I could actually be running three purses right now if I really wanted to. Anyway, let's teleport back to somewhere else and save and exit. Not even teleporting. I am just going to save in Demson. The only Wild West looking place in this entire game. I mean, Cannon fits in the Weird West at least, but. Alright. Talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!